Wow. I survived the proving grounds. I even landed myself a deathless run. This week's GM is anything but free. It will hurt. Pain will happen. But if you're willing, I'm betting you can get through it. Let's hop into it. Unlike the last two weeks where I said I think any class and any loadout would probably work, this week's GM asks a bit more from you if you're willing to venture into the Proving Grounds. This week, I firmly stand by running one Bottom Tree Void Hunter with six Coyote and two Banner Shield Ursa Titans. In my experience, this is the most consistent team composition to get this clear. For weapons, our Hunter ran Succession, Palindrome, but I also think Last Perdition would be a good choice here, and Anarchy. You're getting used to seeing that by now. One of the Titans ran Izanagi's Burden, Ikelos SMG, although I do think the Sean John 7, if you will, is also another good option here, and the 7th Seraph Saw Machine Gun. The other Titan also ran Izanagi's Burden, Igneous Hammer, although Stars and Shadow would be another good option here, and they also ran the 7th Seraph Saw. For mods, Protective Light. For the love of everything, use this mod. Taking Charge to get charged with light. Global Reach to extend the range of the explosions made by War Mine Cells. Reactive Pulse, Arc Nade Buddy thing that goes boom at your feet as long as you are charged with light. If paired with another Arc mod, this also gives you an overshield when finishing enemies. Our Hunter ran Special Finisher to keep the sniper ammo coming. I don't recommend this unless you're actively planning your build around it, but personally, I ran Rage of the Warmind and Wrath of Rasputin. Rage of the Warmind adds solar damage to the explosion of Warmind cells, and Wrath of Rasputin gives solar splash damage a chance to create additional Warmind cells. What does this do? If I blow up a Warmind cell, that explosion has a chance to create more Warmind cells. We started off by going far left at the beginning, and we stayed towards this left ridge the entire time. Watch out for the Scorpius turrets, because they will melt you. There's an unstoppable champ at the bottom of the hill, a barrier about halfway up the hill, and then another unstoppable that spawns towards the top of the hill. Once the final unstoppable is dead, the first mini boss comes out along with yet another unstoppable. My group basically spawn kills this unstoppable so we didn't have to deal with him, then cleared the trash ads and started doing damage to the boss. Once the boss goes into his little dome, another unstoppable spawns to your left. Again, kill him ASAP. Once the area is clear, you can invis into the dome, break the domey thing, then kill the boss. There's a few ads in the next room that we would special finish if we felt like we needed the ammo. Push on, and soon you'll be in the tank room. My group went to the left and rotated between the two banner shields the entire time we were in this room. Roughly halfway through clearing the room, a wave of war beasts will spawn. Do not get hit by them. After you clear the first wave, a second wave of enemies with two Goliath tanks will happen. Keep rotating the banner shields and focus on taking out the tanks ASAP. Again, watch out for more war beasts and any other stray adds that might push up on you. This next area has another unstoppable, but that's not your biggest concern. Your biggest worry in this room is the rock debris flying around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already on my way back. I just died to a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Basic stuff though, once it's clear, pick up the charge to open the door, but don't push forward. Use whatever range you have to clear out the gladiators before going forward. These dudes will one hit wipe your entire team. I know this, cause it happened to my group. In this room there's a barrier, sauce him and his two goons, grab the charge, then dunk. Once you dunk, the next door will open. We did a mini banner shield rotation here to clear the adds and the champ in this next area. Keep in mind though, once the yellow bar idiot dies, adds will spawn in the room behind you. Once that happens, turn around and start working on the new spawn of enemies in the previous room. Once it's clear and the barrier is dead, you can grab the charge and dunk. Once you dunk this charge, the next door will open up. Again, we did the banner shield rotation, took out the unstoppable and barrier as soon as we could, picked up a finisher or two if we needed ammo, and made our way to the boss room. 
We found that going to the back left of the room and using the banner shields to tank the fireballs this chick throws at you is the easiest and safest way to deal with them. Yes, this is a female cabal. Ask Bife if you don't believe me. Do some damage to the boss and be mindful that adds do spawn directly next to you. Once the adds are clear, start damaging the boss some more. After you do enough damage, she'll go into her little dome thing. At that point, two unstoppables will spawn on the left and right sides of the room. Melt the one that spawns close to you, then work on the second one as it gets closer. Keep the rotation of the banner shields up until all the adds are done. At this point, it's just the boss in her dome shooting off these annoying ass fireballs. You can wait out the fireballs so you can get close and break her domey thing without fear of these things wiping you. Just find a safe place where the boss can't shoot you with her gun and take out the fireballs as she throws them at you. Once we were ready, my group sent our hunter and one of the titans to invis into the dome and break the domey thing as fast as we could. Then we invis our way back to the original hiding place. From here, you can use the tunnel to go back and forth between the sides of the room, clear the adds, and do damage to the boss. Before the boss gets to one third of health, we invised to where you first enter this room, then did the final amount of damage to send the boss away. She'll jump onto the platform in the middle inside yet another dome. From way over here, the fireballs will despawn before they get to you, so you don't have to worry about them at all. Two unstoppables will spawn right when she gets inside the dome. Again, rotate the banner shields and sauce the champs. You can again find a safe place to avoid the boss's gun and wait out the fireballs. Once you're ready, invis towards the boss. My group popped one of the banner shields, jumped up, and hit the domey thing to break it, then immediately dropped back down. And for safety, our other titan popped their banner shield right after we dropped back down. Like before, use the tunnel to avoid taking too much damage. Clear the adds, and when you're ready, start doing damage to the boss. Again, using the tunnel to avoid her and her dumb attacks. And before you know it, it's over. You can catch me live on Twitch, and I usually do GM helps on the weekends. Link will be in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitter, where I post stuff related to my Twitch. Link is also down below. Leave a thumbs up if this video helped you in any way. Thumbs down if it didn't. Comment down below, because you want to. Insert sub to me comment here. And Laz, out.